Hello, this is a video about the removal of the name NAC CDM9 mechanism assembly and also conversion to 120 volts. Uh, starting with conversion, uh, as per diagram, you have three wires orange, green, and white, which are there, and you should get 20 volts AC. So the thing is you swap these wires here and I'll give you exact details which color goes where so that you get 20 volts AC on the output and when you do then you connect it back to the board but uh, I'll, I'll send you a separate email about that and a copy of the diagram now to remove the mechanism uh, you have to first remove the cover five screws four of them have collars and are insulated from the chassis the two on that side and two on the other side. The fifth one in the middle here is not insulated, that's the one that provides grounding. You remove those five screws, slide the cover off and this is what you get. To remove the um, complete um, assembly you remove those two screws which are nuts really, there's bolt and nut, you remove those two nuts. These are eight millimeter ones and that ribbon cable. The ribbon cable is held by a um, there's a clip, locking clip, which you slide backwards a couple of fingernails there just slide it gently backwards, you can do it there, you see, it slides backwards and then you withdraw the ribbon the ribbon is fed through the slot, I don't know if it can be visible you just have to get it out to put it back in there I sort of use a knife or scalpel and then feed the ribbon and, and just pull it up. So now get a ring spanner or, 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 or open-ended spanner I use uh, socket set and basically undo the uh, both nuts. What is important really is to, to check the operation after you install the other one that it moves as nice and easy, you know, as the old one. What you have here is a magnet that tells the uh, mechanism, uh, the, the server assembly, that the mechanism is back in its home position. There's another magnet here that tells it when it's open. So um, we have that done. We'll just remove, and one nut is removed. We'll just remove the second nut now. And. Uh, that make it this ready to be packed and, and shipped. So I'll keep the nuts, you keep yours and, and, and the nuts and, and um, washers so they'll stay with the mechanism and keep the pack as well. It basically just lifts up. There's a bit of trickery of getting it out and it has to go through the uh, through the socket Outlet. and that is the bracket. Bracket really should stay with um, oh, perhaps it, it does go the other way perhaps it needs to go um, through there. I forgot, to, I removed it before but I forgot how to do it. That's right, it goes inside. So obviously when you get a new one you have to feed it, place it in there, put that on there nuts, that's the, uh, the the actual um, shank shaft goes into the hole that's milled there, that goes on top and around the screws you have to then make sure that it, you see now it it's not held properly but when it it is held properly by those two screws that's all that there is uh, to it. Lift it up and uh, well perhaps removing is easy, fitting it's, it's a bit more difficult, it will take you probably a good five minutes but uh, that's all there is. Okay thank you very much and uh, I'll send you an email with all the details. Bye bye.